All right, so we're about to see the car for the first time. I'm about to see the car. Well, I saw it earlier, but that was just to turn off the lights because my wife had left the lights on for the garage. But we're about to see this thing. I'm whispering because my wife's still asleep. All right, now I gotta move her car. Crap, man. Are y'all ready? Look at this bad boy. Oh, yeah. We got it in Bayside Blue. Bayside Blue. Now, this thing is supposedly, well, I'm not supposedly, it does have a built motor, a Baker Performance Built Motor. The vehicle is supposedly putting down 1200 horsepower to the wheels or to the crank. I don't know. I haven't really verified, but let me turn on all the lights in here because it is rainy outside go figure it's rainy as heck whenever i actually get home and i'm able to see the vehicle and it needs to be cleaned actually it needs to be freaking washed look how dirty it is the the freaking bug bug people came and sprayed and i don't know what the hell that is i think it's all like dead ants all right there but look how good this car looks <laughs> i'm super pumped it's got the carbon trunk carbon trunk and we're gonna start it up right here in a bit. I don't have any freaking room. My wife parked it like all the way up here. I asked her to reverse it in so that we could actually have the uh, driver's door right here so I can get in and out, but she did not want to reverse it in. But I, so I need to move her Tahoe. I'm gonna let this thing warm up. I'm gonna back it up, turn it around, and then back it in. I know it's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt because it's gonna get super hot back here, but I'm gonna try to put it as far forward as possible to leave myself some room so that I'm not putting all that heat on the wall. We got the, it's a 2010, obviously Nissan GTR, 3.8 liter. And we got the M3, which is a 2011. These are both my rides. And then I obviously have the 2017 6.7 liter Power Stroke, which is deleted and tuned. This thing is a monster. This thing, hang, this thing is pretty much deleted and tuned. It has nothing underneath it, just straight pipes. And it's uh, tuned with a under pulley intake what else pulley intake that's pretty much it i mean i don't really have to do much to it i know all right i know that i have a gt front carbon lip coming from palm performance we do need to clean this thing again i washed this car look, look how nasty this is after they sprayed for all the bugs yesterday when i got into the house or yesterday yesterday when i got into south texas man there was mosquitoes everywhere it makes sense because it was like humid and dry or it was humid and then this morning i wake up to a crap load of rain so pretty much makes sense but let me go ahead and get the tahoe moved all right so obviously you can tell it's bayside blue i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys look that's where the truck i'm letting the truck warm up so if you can't hear me it's because of the truck uh, you can tell by here carbon trunk carbon trunk but it's painted carbon trunk go figure right like we said this is painted in the inside this is the actual base eye blue got a crushed carbon freaking steering wheel looks awesome we have upgraded paddle shifters <clears throat> we got the silver interior man i was over here i thought this was dust inside the car but this thing is like it's kind of rubbery and as soon as i touched it man it started scraping all this freaking uh the black paint off but this is kind of like how the bmw but the BMW underneath is another shade of like matte gray or, or matte black, satin black. This one is white underneath. So look, you can tell the con the, the window controls right there. The steering, the, uh, the shifter knob, and the window controls on that side are all jacked up, but it is what it is. I mean, this is a 2010, so I don't expect it to be completely freaking perfect. How do we open the hood? How do we do that? Uh, I'm gonna assume right here. Okay. Now this is where it gets interesting, okay? Stay ready. All right, so this has a built Baker Performance 3.8 liter with forged internals. Upgraded freaking fuel rails, upgraded intake. We have upgraded blow off valves, upgraded intercooler piping. We have the filtration. We just need to upgrade this. I'm gonna get the uh, Boost Logic, it does have flex fuel, so we will be able to run E85 on there. I just need to get with the previous owner, which I have his contact information. I'm gonna talk to him about how to actually run the maps, what, what maps are which, and yada, 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 because this thing is supposedly making 1,200 horsepower. It does have a upgraded T1 intercooler. 
So this thing is going to be a freaking ripper. Oh man. We're gonna get this thing cleaned up too. That's why, that's pretty much why I wanted to reverse it in so that I can get the engine bay clean and then when the sun comes out, we will get everything uh, on the exterior cleaned up. But look how beautiful this engine looks, man. Oh, it's kind of bugging me though, because it's pretty dirty. So I'm gonna have to get in here and freaking detail the hell out of it. But I am excited, I am pumped. It has all the uh, AN fittings. This thing is freaking sweet, man.